Hi, so I'm uh, Elliot Crow. I'm the co-founder and uh, technical lead at Getaround, which is a car car sharing company that actually uh, jump started last year at the last iPad Dev Camp or iPhone Dev Camp. Mm -hmm. um, I'm here. I worked with um, one other person, uh, Joseph Boyd, who uh, done very little Objective C experience before um, to. Uh, Bring to you today the Pondlet, which is a uh, collaborative, real-time syntax highlighting code editor for the iPad. It's something that I, when I first saw the iPad, I was like, I want to write code on this thing, and I can't because there's nothing out there that does anything like what I wanted to do. Yes. So, um, this uh, basically the, the, the biggest thing that took the most amount of time here was the uh, rich text editor component that does syntax highlighting. As most of you know, there's no rich text editing component on the uh, on the iPad or any of the iPhones. So I had to write all of that from scratch using Core Text, and so all of that uh, I will be hopefully open sourcing real soon, so we can all put rich text syntax highlighting. Um, and anyway, so <laughs> the, the one cool thing about this is that it. Uh, you know, it's a real-time editor, so it synchronizes everything you type in real time um, to the server, um, which means that instead of having a global file system, Apple doesn't have global file systems, everything that's stored is stored on the cloud immediately, and you can synchronize with your laptop in real time. So what does that mean? Uh, a couple of different things that it can mean for the iPad is that um, we can send little commands up to the cloud and back down to your local computer, which is watching these changes in real time, and then you just have a build button, which goes out to your goes out to the cloud, down to the down to your laptop, and builds it on your laptop. Since this results back down, it comes back to your iPhone and tells you you have a billion errors. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's Pondlet, a, a real-time collaborative editor. Um, I'm going to be open sourcing pieces of it as we go along, but uh, I'm not sure we can open source the whole thing because uh, I think the server costs are a little bit much. <laughs> so there you go.